Hi guys, I am back with another video. I am here today with a video on my pen name, okay? So, in case you didn't know, which I don't know how you wouldn't know, but on my social media handles or my social media name, it is Brianna, Brianna's YA Bookshelf. That's good for Goodreads, you know, this YouTube and Instagram. So Brianna is my real name, but going further into my writing journey, I really wanted to separate from everything that I've started now um, at this time and start fresh with basically a clean slate and begin branding who I am as an author. So, so I will be getting a little bit more into why I decided to choose a pen name for myself. Okay, so the reason why I decided to choose a pen name for myself instead of using my real name um, to brand myself as an author is because for one, I wanted, I have my name attached to my wax melt company and I basically didn't want to be seen, be only known as the girl who makes wax melts. You know, I don't want them to judge me um, from that business to my writing, basically, if that makes sense. I want them to separate the two and don't get anything twisted. Don't be thinking about my wax business while they're reading my books and don't be reading my books and think about my wax business. Um, as well as, which I know there's a lot of people that, that think this, there's a lot of people that I went to school with, you know, high school, college, middle school, all that, and that I just know from my town. My town is small, very small, and we basically know each other. We've heard about each other. People's always meddling in other people's business, you know. So I basically wanted to create a name where people couldn't uh, trace it back to me per se. Actually, there's things that I that I'm gonna be writing about that you will soon know in my some of my writing updates. That I'm writing more personal narratives. That it's about my life and the things that I've went through. You know, the things that I've dealt with, and I don't want people to. Mm, I don't know how to say it. I just don't want people all up in my business, okay? Especially, I know a lot of people that work in print-on-demand companies, and I don't want them to see my name on the cover, flip it open, and be like, oh, Brianna wrote this, you know? Of course, eventually, they will find out, and I'm okay with that. But I want to start as a new clean slate. I don't want to start... Um, as an as a up and coming author as Brianna you know I want to I want to start fresh so from this day forward I am starting as to Shelby Robinson now to Shelby is still my name it is my middle name and Robinson is my mother's maiden name so when you pick a pen name it's very essential for you to pick something unique to you and you know it's got to have a lot of meaning to you but it's also got to kind of resemble who you are so for instance I'm not gonna call myself Jack Berry you know that's just it's weird you know but to Shelby Robinson it's still who I am it's creative um, uh, I haven't heard any authors that have that name and that's very important too. You don't want to pick the same name that someone else has and you know it's very fresh. People don't address address me as to Shelby. They address me as Brianna or Brie. So, so yes. I just wanted to, so I really just wanted to make a video um, basically explaining why if you see a change in my social media handles why it's now to Shelby instead of Brianna and that is why I'm changing my name changing my name to to Shelby Robinson and this is who I want to be as I come up and journey to becoming an aspiring 
author. Now, later on, I will get into self-publishing and traditional publishing because I have high regards for both of them, although I haven't done either, but I plan to do both of them, okay? So I'll have a video explaining why that is later. I just wanted to basically make sure you understood, you know, the meaning behind my name. And, you know, hopefully you can stick with me on this journey to publishing my debut novel i will i know i haven't gotten too heavily detailed about what i'm doing all i know is all you know is that i've been working on a short story collection but i have other tricks up my sleeve you know so i will be you know discussing those projects later and basically what they mean to me because like i said i'm doing a lot of per a lot of personal narratives and I basically want to, when I release those, I really want to start on a clean slate and not have my wax melt business or, you know, uh, kind of overshadowing those. I want that to be the, to the be the main focus. So yes, if you decide to choose a pen name, don't don't be um, scared of doing it or don't be hesitant. I should say. It's a, very, it's a good way of starting to brand yourself because especially as an author or an aspiring author or a business person, you are really, your name is your brand. And I know a lot of people don't think that, but it's very true. Your brand represents what the heck you put out there in the world. So if you want to create a pen name, go ahead and do it. Just make sure that it still is true to you. It's something that you that you really like and you really don't mind being called that as well as it is creative in the sense that a lot of people don't have it. Don't pick Rainbow Row, Rowell or Ransom Riggs, you know, or John Doe or Jane Smith. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have that, okay? So I hope you enjoy this video. You can all my you can catch me basically on Instagram and Twitter and wherever else I will link all those um, links down below and I hope you have a good day if you like this video give it a thumbs up comment and subscribe for more writing videos and book related videos and I will see you in the next one bye